chicken and steak kebab. So this is a little bit on the healthier side. So we got grilled veggies, peppers, mushrooms, onions, squash, zucchini over a bed of rice. And I'm gonna top it with a little yum yum and teriyaki sauce. Chase Davis's passion for food can be seen a mile away. Man, it's such a it's such a balance of flavor. Right. You don't sit there and go, oh, I can taste the this or I can taste the that. It's it's everything. One visit to his food truck, King Kebab, and you'll see just how dedicated he is to crafting creative culinary dishes. This is the chicken and waffle kebab, and I always like to drizzle it with a little honey sriracha on the chicken give it that extra flavor. Wanting to create a menu that featured finger-friendly and delicious food, Davis came up with the idea to make a variety of kebabs. Everything is on a stick, from chicken and waffle, low country boil, our regular chicken steak and veggie kebabs, everything is on a stick, creating a different concept. Davis got his start as a chef here in Conyers at the Rockdale Career Academy while taking classes at Heritage High School. So in Rockdale Career Academy, they had a culinary program. So I enrolled in that in, uh, in uh, ninth grade, and I've learned different techniques, seasonings, you know, different styles of cooking, literally, literally a little bit of everything there. And that helped me develop a passion of what I want to do in my career. And although he was a talented football player at Heritage, Davis knew his calling would always be tied to food. I just enjoyed cooking. I, I had a passion for that, and I felt like I wanted to do a little bit of more. Just in case I didn't make it to the NFL, I wanted to have a backup plan, and this backup plan worked out perfectly. So perfectly that he now owns three food trucks. And his hard work, along with charisma and larger-than-life personality, got him an opportunity that he never saw coming. So last year, Fox 5 did an inter interview on me, uh, Food Truck Friday, and I was basically presented to Atlanta. Guy Fieri saw that interview and was like, I want this guy to compete for chance of a lifetime. And according to Davis, the grand prize lives up to the show's name. Out of thousands of applicants, Davis, along with six other contestants, were chosen to compete to own and operate one of Guy Fieri's Chicken Guy restaurant franchises. No cost, they're building it out, paying for everything, paying your bills. This is a free restaurant they're giving you, you just have to operate. And win the competition. And win the competition. A possibility that seemed like a dream not too long ago. Literally, I started from nothing and I built this up to uh, uh, two, three food trucks and I'm out in Atlanta serving everyone. I think that's why I'm on the show and that's why I'm competing because he, he wanted to give me that chance, that chance of a lifetime to show the world what I can do, what I've created by myself. So yeah, I am, I'm blessed to have that opportunity. An opportunity that you can actually watch. Guy's Chance of a Lifetime on Sunday at nine o'clock on the Food Network Hulu and Discovery Plus. The winner will be announced on Sunday, February 6th. Reporting in Conyers, Joe Gum, Rockdale 23.